front struts feature new internal hydraulic rebound stops that dramatically increase the damping force in both directions near the top of the travel. The old internal rebound springs stored energy as the body rose and released it on the way back down, skewing the effective damping rates. The rear shocks include a similar function operating at the bottom end of travel, where a second, smaller piston enters a narrower cylinder that increases the damping rate by 50%. This improves body motion control when the vehicle is heavily loaded and when it traverses bigger dips and bumps. The base and sport suspensions both utilize this technology, using different damping rates. The optional adaptive sport dampers do this and more using external bypass spool valves. The base steering rack uses a fixed ratio, and sport suspensions get a variable rate with a more gradual, less noticeable, quickening of the ratio at higher steering angles. And, hallelujah, the utterly unpredictable and truly hateful active steering has been banished to a special circle of hell, at least for the G20. BMW did not share the specific spring and damping figures with us, but base car tuning is very slightly stiffer, and the sport suspenders are about 12% stiffer than the outgoing sport setup, meaning the gap between base and sport roughly doubles in this generation. The anti-roll bars have been tweaked very slightly to maintain similar control working in conjunction with the new spring rates and geometric roll axis. Tires remain the same size but are re-engineered for less rolling resistance and noise transmission. In the braking department, both base and sport models get four piston front and two piston rear fixed calipers, but the sport models boast larger diameter discs and caliper pistons front and rear, with a unique booster and proportioning valves to match. The last piece of the dynamic handling puzzle is the sport suspension's electronically controlled limited slip diff, which is entirely controlled by the chassis computers and works just like the ones in M cars, but with two fewer clutch plates.